Let's talk women talk. Since she was a young girl, Kalyan Kyo knew the importance of education for her future. Today, and for scholarships later, Kalyan is an activist and also aims to raise the profile of Cambodia on an international platform. Um, I've heard so much about you, so it's really such a pleasure to do this interview with you. Now, I know you've come from very humble beginnings, and, and, but you've had such a tremendous uh, um, educational path, as I would say. And um, can you tell us a little bit about how it was like growing up? Uh, I'm very humble uh, and probably uh, one of the uh, uh, lucky, you know, women in, in Cambodia to be uh, born in a family that values education and my parents always make me study very hard. I ended up getting a scholarship from the government. How did you get involved with uh, volunteerism and social work? I mean, being outside of Cambodia, it really brought new ideas, brought different perspective and, and really uh, saved my my passion for, for the future. So that's how you know I started to be passionate about development because I thought that, you know, seeing Australia, seeing Singapore, Cambodia is so far behind here. Yeah. I would like to uh, uh, explain to the world that Cambodia, beside uh, its uh, daunting history, we still have the bright side. And this is something I see in the younger generation. But I want us to be known by the world because of our rich cultural heritage, the tradition, the smiles and the positive uh, attitude of, of its people. I'm not a big fan of the past. I'm, I'm a very op uh, optimistic person. Empowerment to me, uh, it's from the inside, but I think the main driver is about the individual itself to, to really, you know, find their own passion. Kalyan's dedication to her country and family definitely serves as a strong sense of inspiration to the young people of Cambodia.